Hi, I'm Milo Marks from Team 409B, and I'm going to show you how to make a virtual 4-bar. This is a side view of a 2-bar lift. The downside to it is that right now it is parallel with the ground, but when you move it, it's now perpendicular. Go. This this is a 4-bar lift. It's called a 4-bar because it has 4 bars. 1, 2, 3, and 4. The, the good side of it is that it keep the object the claw and object keeps its orientation no matter how far it's turned. See how it's perpendicular to the uh, to the ground right now? And unlike the two bar, when we raise it up, it stays perpendicular. Why does it do that? Because it's a parallelogram these two sides will always stay parallel. It's geometry, man! This is a four bar in action. Watch how the hub always stays at the same orientation to the floor. This is called a virtual four bar. The, the parallelogram for this one is inside this chain. This is a model. See how the pink piece keeps its orientation? Here you can see the parallelogram. Here's how it works. This sprocket down here stays completely stationary and is at the same pivot point as the two bar. Then it has a chain going up to here with uh, connecting to the shaft that, ha that connects to the intake. Well, when, if, since this uh, stays stationary, it stays at uh, everything stays at the same orientation, making this stay flat and parallel to the ground. The poly the the parallelogram for this robot for this design is inside of the chain. So right, it goes right here to there to there to there because the chain can't extend. The chain stays the same length on each side. It has to be two shafts and two separate shafts. One needs to stay stationary while this one needs to be able to move to control the arm. And basically, it, take, it takes the problem of the space that the four bar takes up and takes that down to a minimal size of the size of a two bar. And it works just the same. And if you even want it to, it can go, uh, instead of a four bar, which usually stops right here, it can go all the way back here. It's not while holding the hub. <coughs> Tell me how you can do, use this on your robot. Put a video in the comments below if you do it. Yeah.